Solution for day 77 is going to be a bit of a lengthy one. We need to start by building our static folder once again. Stop putting in those double commas when I do that. But once we set that up, we need our folder where everything's going to go in there. Now, logging engine requires a separate folder for templates. So I'm going to call that template. I'm just going to make a template. Well, I'm going to call it blog, actually. Blog.html. It's going to be an HTML page with a head, with a title. In there, I'm going to put title in my curly braces so I can replace that easy. Uh, in the body, which is the visible part, I'm going to have H1 also be the title, so I have to put it in once. I'm going to have an H2 with a date, and then I'm just going to have a P tag for... Now that ain't going to be the most exciting one in the world, and you can go and add CSS or whatever you want to it. I want to get it done to show you what that's like. Okay, let's reposition our first one to be... Just so it's a bit simpler to copy. And let's start with some variables. So I'm going to define title, date, and text. Let's call my first blog entry hello. Let's say hello world, date, let's put October 25th, text. Here is my first. Oops blog entry and of course if you wanted to have like more flexibility there, I'd use the three quotes trick so you have the opportunity to have enters and stuff like that we're going to bring in our template Remember, it's going to be in static slash it's not going to be in static sorry it's going to be in templates template slash blog.html need to open that up in read mode make sure that page is equal to f.op f.read, we're reading the contents. Then we also want to do f.close there. We're finally going to do page.replace. I'm going to go through now. I'm going to replace title with contents of our variable title. I'm going to do the same thing for date and the same thing and get the indentations right. Same thing for date and the same thing for text. Now, let's check that works before we carry on looks okay to me we we'll open it up in a new page we we'll get the toolbar on and we'll go forward slash hello which was our very first page okay something's going up wrong because it's loading everything in but it's not doing it ah i'm not doing page equals if you don't replace the original page with the change version you're not going to get very far in this stop the server because i've changed the python code refresh it over here and there we go there's my first blog entry Let's show this works by copying and pasting that and creating a second blog entry. Now, of course, if yours is prettier than mine, this would be great. Let's make it the worst blog in the world. So with very little changes now, I can reload that. And if I go to hello, I get that page. And if I go to buy, I get that page. Now, the other thing I wanted was to have an option that if I went to slash blog slash hello, it would redirect. So let's do that. In fact, we can make a generic redirect, I think. Let's import redirect. So we've got the code for it. And let's bring in our blog slash. Actually, I'm going to have to do them manually. Blog slash hello. Def hr is in hello redirect. Return the redirect to hello. So if I go to slash blog slash hello, it'll move me. Page. Do the same thing for goodbye. Again, I've changed Python code, so I stop and restart the server. And let's check this. So if I go blog slash hello. Oh, I've put colons by my app.root bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, HR there should be BR. There we go. If I refresh that now, there we go. Bounce back to hello. Blog slash buy bounces back to buy. So that all works nicely.